Well, good morning. It's another cool day in Northwest Tennessee here at Camp Sinclair. I'm Dave. This is Down the Road We Go. And this is just an update that we're going to do on the uh, jacks. While we're standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona, Altoona, Cheyenne, or down in Punta Gorda. And if your RV needs some minor repair, Dave will give you tips down at Camp Sinclair. Our leveling jacks, our hydraulic leveling jacks, we're having a problem. We got stuck down in Florida with one down and got it up. And we had a tech come out and we looked at it and the consensus is that it's all working fine. We leveled it, un pulled them up, leveled it, pulled them up, did that several, three or four times. Everything worked great. So we're kind of thinking that it might have had a little bit of corrosion in there in that one spot. Once we got it off that spot, it was working good. But we went ahead and we've got a half inch socket to take with us with a wrench to turn that motor, maybe one RPM or something like that and get it off that spot and see if that works if it does this again if it does it again the motor probably is bad but we also know uh, what parts we need to pull the jacks up manually if we ever get stuck with them down or get stuck well get stuck on down is worse stuck with them up no problem but if they get stuck down we know how to uh, bring them up so let me show you what we got at harbor freight to help us do that okay here are the parts that we've uh, got to take care of this problem one is we already have, we have needed a half inch socket, an extension and a wrench. That's in case we just need to turn it like a little bit and maybe it'll keep running. If we have to manually pull it up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to need this extension, which is, it turns around so you can hook your drill up to it down this end, put the socket with this adapter on this end, and if you have to run it out, if you have to run it out and turn it like that, you can still have the drill on it and basically what it is is a flexible extension so let's go out to the motor home and take a look at it and see how it would work what we're going to do here is open up the front end here let's take a look and we'll pull this down here okay we pull that latch that pulls a generator out and we can get in here and see where this is going to be here's the again we have the tools okay again we have the tools right here so what we're going to do and i'm doing everything one-handed here so hang on okay let's see if we can see in here. This part of the motor right here has got a half inch nut on it. It's a little rough to see. Let's see if we can get in there. There it is, you can see it. Now, if we have to turn that, we can go ahead and Hang on here a second. Set that down. Okay, here's into the motor. It's a half inch socket. Fits. Well, it did fit. There we go. Now we can actually move that starter like that. Now that would get it off of the rough part that if it gets stuck, you know, the commentator's got something on it or it's a little short out there, it can turn it off there and we'll see if the motor keeps running. If the motor does not run and we cannot pull up our jacks, let me show you what we do next. Okay, so what we're looking at here is we can use this piece and as you can see, it bends and we'll actually put a drill on the end of this. I didn't bring the drill with me, but we would put a drill on this and that would spin that motor fast enough to pull the, uh, pull the jacks up. Now you have to have somebody pushing the button inside for like all tracks, all jack retracts. And then you can spin this and all the jacks should come up because it energizes the, uh, the valves to open them up 
to bring the jacks up. So that's all we should have to do. So let's show you how that goes on there. Here's what it will look like if we're gonna pull this up manually. So we have the drill, which is gonna turn the extension. Like I said, we can do it any way we want it because, and then hold that on down there and just spin away and it'll spin that pump. And with somebody uh, holding the button down for auto retract, and it should pull the jacks up. That's how you do it manually. Now I'm going ahead and put down in the comments, like I said, a link to another video that you can watch. Now it's on a Thor motorhome. Everything's in a different place and it's pretty similar. So it'll give you an idea of what you have to do. And this is basically how you get the thing up in a case of emergency. So that should catch you up on, uh, you know, what we did after the last video. Uh, in other words, getting, trying to get the, the jacks to work. We thought we'd have to replace the motor. As it stands right now, we don't. Uh, and we're hoping that we don't have to. So the next time we use it is when we go up. We're going to be going up to Goshen the end of April and to a rally for uh, uh, Holiday Ramblers. And it's a maintenance rally. <laughs> go figure that we're got a few things, other things fixed, uh, hopefully the water lines and stuff, but hopefully we don't have to mess around with these jacks anymore, and we'll let you know if we do. So thanks for coming along for the ride, although this was in a shop series, sorta. I just wanted to do a catch up, and that way you'd know what was going on. So thanks for watching, as down the road we go. Hi guys. Thanks for coming along and watching this episode of Down the Road We Go. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the little bell and the button over there so that you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Also, if you liked our videos, please share it because there may be other people that may enjoy it too. So thanks again for coming along as Down the Road We Go.